five years ago, a bootstrap startup, and it's become in the last five years the world's largest DIY community. We just hit this week seven million registered members, and we have 40 million monthly visits, 250 million page views. DIY home and garden content, Hill likes to say that we have 90 million. We're gonna get there soon, Hill, thank you. <laughs> if you ever want, anyways, marketer. User generated content is what we're all about. We're not experts sharing, we're essentially a platform that enables home talkers around the world, mostly women in the US, 35 plus, but members around the world to share their content, share their projects, and we're essentially a platform that facilitates that. Excellent. Now, about a year ago, we watched Tasty, BuzzFeed, the short form videos really taking off, and we recognized a tremendous opportunity. We started to outsource some video, brought it in-house, and I'd like to show you four short videos. I'm also going to show you the view count on each of these videos. We're going to watch four videos. One hit 790,000 views, one hit 35 million views, another 57, and our top video so far, 104. Today it's going to be 105 or 106. It continues to rise about a million a day. But I'd like for you to guess, audience participation, which video had which number of views. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I apologize, I didn't plug it into Facebook, and feel free to search our Facebook page. If you're on our Facebook page right now, please don't call it the correct answer. I specifically put the videos through YouTube so you won't see the view count. Some ads do pop up though, and I'll try to X out of them. Here we go, video number one, Fall to Pi Fall Topiary. Thank you very much. Ari, right, thank you. <laughs> Just by show of hands so far, anybody think this is the 100 million views? Video number one. Fall to here with lights in just 30 minutes. That was awkward. <laughs> The second video is coming shortly. Here we go. Here we go, there we go. Second video coming right up. 40 second natural weed killer. 40 second natural weed killer. We're going to exit out the uh, back video on YouTube. There we go. Videos are coming. I love we're at a tech conference and the tech, but it's great because do you know what? This is actually exactly on point. I'm gonna discuss that shortly. Remember this. Remember that the tech has been working perfectly. Remember that because this is exactly the point we're about to share. Coming up, thanks for Risa for putting this all together, by the way. Big hands up. Yay! Yay! There we go. Anybody have weeds outside their house? Okay, in Israel. <laughs> Anybody think that's the 57 million views? 104? Less than a million, 104? Four so far. <laughs> 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 
Championship. Yeah. The next video running, the Pool Noodle Ornament Wreath. <laughs> a lot of holiday oriented stuff on Hung Talk. A lot of Christmas trees on Hung Talk. Brought to you by your friends in Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> <laughs> By show of hands so far, anybody think this is the uh, 104 million, 57 million, 35, 690? What a beautiful wreath. Come on, anybody, some love for the wreath. Thank you. <laughs> and last video here. Have to clean a glass dish. You know those glass dishes we had them last night? Yeah, we all have those glass dishes at home. We just clean it for days with soap, and then we don't clean it so well. I wash it. I hear a lot of excitement about cleaning this glass dish in the women's world. From the women. The women. Most of these women on home talk. Men who want to help their wives at home clean dishes too. We're taking notes. Excellent, thank you. Okay, four videos, fantastic. Let's go to this next slide here. Come on guys, four videos. Again, fall topiary leaves. We had the weed killer, we had the pool noodle ornament wreath, and then we had the glass dish. Just by show of hands so far, which video, and I'm gonna start at the bottom, 790,000. By show of hands, who thinks it's a fall topiary? Oh, I do. Fall topiary, there we go. Anybody think it's the weed killer? Okay, not so much on the weed killer, how about the pool noodle ornament wreath? Most of you, fantastic. And the fourth one, the glass cleaning aluminum scrubbing thing. Fantastic, okay, great. Can I get an answer for number one? Number one is the glass oh, I love it, I am so happy. Somebody asked me yesterday in the office, Mo, what happened, did they get it right? I was like, oh boy, okay, gotta think about that. So, so far we're doing well. This is totally on target. Come on guys, 35 million. Three left, 35 million. Can I get it for the fall topiary leaves? 35, uh, oh. Pool noodle. And the weed killer. All right, you guys got this one. Weed killer, very good. I saw most hands go up there. We're down to the final two. And these are the two videos that have the least hands for the 50 million plus. Can I get a 57 million hands up for the fall topiary leaves? Yeah. And for the pool noodle. We're evenly split, this is fantastic. There we go. Can you guess which video had 104 million views? Don't think about it too hard. You got it. Can you imagine the video that had the least hands up in this room by far? was the most viral yet out of about 150 videos that we produced. What in the world happened? Where in the world? Where in the world? Where? Well, just a little side note, it was actually produced the day before the elections in the US. I kind of think that millions of Americans were like, I don't want to see Trump in my news feed anymore. No, 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 Trump. Ah, pool noodles. <laughs> That's not the theory I'm writing on today. <laughs> The theory that we're developing is as follows, and it's totally on point with what happened with the slide deck, and it's totally on point with the entire ethos of home talk and who we are. Authentic content. We have spent a lot of money and a lot of time producing beautiful, polished videos. And you know what? The first time we hit a million views, we were ecstatic. Five million, huge. 40 million, Wall Street Journal, Business Insider, Press, PR, fantastic. But do you know we had such an amazing epiphany? Once we allowed our Home Talk members to actually shoot their own videos on iPhones and send it to us, and all we did is we sped it up. Those are the only videos in our entire library that hit more than 50 million views. The only videos in our library, check them out, Feel free to have a lot of fun tonight, some popcorn, some beer, and some home talk videos on Facebook. The only videos that hit 50 million plus were from our users. And this reminds us, 
the buzzword that has been going around this morning, authentic content, real people, relatable, practical. I can see a beautiful way to clean my glass dish and maybe I'll share it and maybe I'll even engage in the content. But if I don't feel like it's a real person behind it, it was produced in a studio, it's not gonna hit those highest numbers possible. Therefore, what we've been doing as a next step is we've been all in now on Facebook Live. We produce two live Facebook shows a day. Not by us, not by experts, not by good looking celebrities, by Home Talk members across the US doing real projects in their homes, in their stores, regular people doing extraordinary things, ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And we see the engagement on this flying off the chart, so much so that we're actually all in for 2017 to be streaming 10 hours plus a day of live content on our website, on Home Talk. I am so happy everybody here got the wrong answer. Otherwise, I was like, oh boy, what am I gonna say? Authenticity works. Authenticity works. We see that, we see the global trends moving along in that direction too. Everything from when eBay democratized e-commerce, and then of course we have Uber in transportation, Airbnb in hospitality, every vertical, every industry is being disrupted by platforms with real people, with two-sided communities that are offering value to each other. And I ask us a question, every single one of us in this room, this is not about Home Talk, I'm not plugging Home Talk. I'm not looking for anybody here to sign up to our platform and use us. Feel free to do so, it's not what I'm here for. I'm here to ask every single one of us to think about our businesses our brands, who we are, and whether we're snapping or we're tweeting or we're videoing or all the incredible things we're hearing today, how are we authentic? Authenticity shines through. I love the line, ordinary to extraordinary. I developed this phrase after we hit this viral video with a pool noodle wreath. And we even put it in our sign up pop up on the website recently and it performed better than what we had before turning ordinary into extraordinary. Every single one of us in this room might say we're ordinary people, we each have unique skill sets and talents, but we can all become extraordinary. Let us tap deep inside of ourselves, and I can't tell you to replicate our authenticity on Home Talk, because that wouldn't be authentic to yourselves, to your business or organizations or personal brands. But how can you reach deep inside of yourself and ask yourself, who are you? And how are you going to express that to others? And that truly can bring a level of success unparalleled to anything we've experienced before. Thank you.